Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica and this is the Big Kid Monica YouTube channel. So today I have a very fun video. So what we'll be doing is trying the new Trixie and Kimchi Chic Beauty makeup collaboration palette as well as all the other products. So this just came out a couple of weeks ago. So this palette here, it started with a fake feud on Twitter between Kimchi and Trixie Mattel. And everyone had a feeling that something would be coming and of course they had something in mind and it was this awesome collaboration so i'm so excited to share it all with you and try some makeup looks i literally just unboxed it this morning and i was so excited to try it i just had to jump on camera straight away and do it so we're gonna try a look today and we'll see what we come up with but first of all before i get started in this video please make sure that you like this video and you subscribe to my channel every subscriber counts and as i'm getting closer to 1000 subscribers every person who views this it counts and i would love everyone to just check if they're subscribed if not hit the subscribe button and you'll never miss out on any new content from me i do makeup videos vlogs barbie hauls that sort of thing so if you're interested in any of that please join my youtube family and without further ado let's get started <music> makeup today I did I used the color stay Revlon foundation as my base I use the NYX cosmetics marshmallow primer and I used the Maybelline stay matte powder in translucent and I also use benefit brow gel in the uh, I think it's called 24 hour setter something like that um, but I'll link it I'll write it all below what I've used and then before we start, I'm actually as well going to prime my eyes using the MAC Cosmetics. This is the 24 hour extend eye base primer. It's very good. I've used it quite a few times before, pretty much all year recently, and it's great. Keeps the makeup on all day. So I'm just gonna quickly put some of that on because I want these colors in this palette to show their full potential on this video and I want I'm going out to dinner tonight so I'd like ideally if the colors could stay on all through then which I'm sure they will because their makeup is always incredible also I'd like to point out that I'm wearing some very cute earrings I thought I'd do some bubble tea inspired ones just felt right for this video these earrings I got from soda pop boutique I'll link them down below. They're one of my favorite small businesses. They always have high quality and very well priced earrings, accessories, everything like that. So I'll link them below. Soda Pop Boutique, shout out to them. Love their work and everyone should support them because they are awesome. So we're gonna start with the actual palette itself. It comes in a box like this and it's got a very nice photo of Trixie and Kimchi together and it's sort of Y2K vibes on this TV set up with video game style images and I just really like that vibe. I think Y2K is very popular now so it was a good idea by them to actually make something out of that. And the palette's called the Best Friend Forever Collab MVP palette. So on the front, it's got this hologram here and as you move it the picture changes and then inside when you open it up the most beautiful colors so I just watched a video of them swatching all of these and I was obsessed with every single color I love that you can use just your normal browns to make just a daily look you've also got a play on that but sparkly and then you've got some fun colors here some pink some purples literally a little bit of everything on the rainbow they're also all named very cute things and I just really enjoy a pressed glitter as well it always um, by kimchi is always great so I think we'll probably do I always go towards a pinky purpley look and I think I'm going to stick with that today there's lots of nice pink shades here, some pink glitters, and also then I'll use some of the lighter shimmers to go into my brow bone and that sort of thing. The collab also comes with highlighters, blushes, and lipsticks, so we'll use a bit of everything today. So first of all, I've got my brushes with me here. I'm going to start with a crease color, so I think I'm going to use this one here, Sweet Tart. 
So it's a light pink, but it's very highly pigmented. Oh, I'm actually going to pull off. How satisfying is it when you pull off the plastic on one of these things? It's like when you're opening an Apple product. So I can use the mirror on this one. So let's use, I'm looking for a really fluffy brush. I probably should have prepared these earlier, but I've just washed all of my brushes. So they're all here with me. So I've got pretty much a choice of anything, which is great. But sometimes too much choice can also do, also be a bad thing. Let's go on with this one here. This is a e.l.f. fluffy eye blender brush. And I really like the e.l.f. brushes. They're quite high quality for the price point. So like I said, dipping into Sweet Tart, get quite a lot on there. I can already tell it's going to be really highly pigmented. Yeah, look, as soon as you put it on, you can already see that. So I'll just blend that into my crease. I'm not going to do any crazy cut creases or anything like that. I simply just want to put on colors and see what they look like and how they sit on their own. And then I'll probably be playing with this one all week. And then when I go back to work, I'll be doing some fun colors the whole time. <laughs> I love wearing colorful makeup to work. It makes me feel like a different person and gives me the confidence to get through the day. So look at that, stunning, stunning and bright. And we love it. So do the exact same to the other eye. I'm loving how much fun makeup there is at the moment, especially from Trixie and Kimchi. They're both, obviously they're both drag queens. So they want makeup that's gonna be appealing to drag queens, but also to regular people who just wear makeup to work and that sort of thing. So their palettes are always a good balance between the two and it really makes your creativity shine and inspires you to try different things and different looks with all the colors there. I was definitely someone who was never drawn to really crazy colors when I was in my early 20s and starting out doing makeup more. Um, I always went towards the nude tones and I was stuck in sort of those Urban Decay nude palettes. I had Naked 3 and that was everything I needed but then as I got older and more makeup started coming out especially collaborations and stuff like this I really got into it and then decided that I actually liked playing with colors it's pretty fun it can be daunting but once you get started you honestly don't want to stop you know there's so much you can try and especially with Instagram and YouTube and TikTok and all of those sort of platforms now you can gain a lot of inspiration from other people so I've done that and now what we're going to do is go to the outside part of my eye. We're going to, I'm going to try and do it as neatly as I can, sort of coming up towards the brow bone and then blending in with this color. So there's a few different colors that I would like to try on here, but I think I know what I'm going to do. So we're going to use this brush here. It's a Morphe, oh no, do color. It was, I got this off um, Merch Mother ages ago. So what I'm going to do, I was going to use this purple, but I think I'm going to go in Actually, you know, I will. I'm going to go in with Dahlia and then I'm going to put Flower Power over the top just because sometimes the glitters are less pigmented but more glittery so they are really easy to layer over stuff. So this purple is good because it's not like a bright purple. It's more on the pinky side, which I quite enjoy. So like I always do, I think you've seen me do this before, I always do like a triangle on the outside corner of my eye. And it helps me to sort of create a line and to blend it in. And then it leaves a lot of room in the outside part of the eye. So you can stamp colour in there. So then I blend it in like that. Sometimes I use a bit of cardboard or something to actually make the line a bit sharper. But right now I'm just interested in packing colour on. And nothing too neat. You know there's a lot of different makeup techniques you can use in a lot of Sometimes I do like being more precise, which I think I've mentioned before, but sometimes I don't. And this is one of those times. The mirror is really nice on this palette as well. It's quite big, which is great because a lot of eye palettes have these tiny little mirrors, which I don't know how you're going to see yourself in them. But this is great because you can actually see your whole face really. So if you were on the go, wanted to bring this palette with you, you could just not have to worry about bringing a mirror. So then after that, I always do the same color on my bottom lashes just to bring it all together. 
and make it one cohesive look. So I just sort of match up where I finish that line and then drag it down and sort of smoke it out so it's not too rigid, you know, so it's a bit of colour under there. And I don't go all the way along because I like to actually use other colours that I use on my eyes under there as well and it sort of makes it one big look, which I think is great. And it's fun to incorporate all the colours you're using on your lid to your um, under eye as well. Yes, yeah, so that's coming along nicely. You can see that it's pinky, but you can see the differentiation between the different pinks. So now I'm going to tap into Flower Power, which is a very glittery shade. And then I'm just putting this on the outside here. So see where I left a little bit of space in that triangle? I can put this glitter on here. And it looks so cute. So the pressed glitters, like what they were saying in the reveal video about press glitters is that it's so much easier than having a loose glitter because loose glitters go everywhere they get stuck in your makeup bag so if it's pressed it goes on a lot easier and it's a lot easier to travel with and to use and I feel that as well I love loose glitters but they're very hard to work with and I'm also like daunted having to use them because I know how messy it's going to be There we go. So I'm going to switch brushes so I can use a lighter colour. So I'm using this brush here. This is by Morphe and it's a Morphe Aerial Collaboration brush. I love them. So great. So now I'm going to use Pink Chiffon, this colour here. And it's sort of like a duochrome, pinky, nudie colour. So I'm going to put it all over my lid. And then we're going to put some glitter over the top as well. So it's this lovely, nice lighter color which works well i re really do like doing a light eyelid and you can see it's duochrome so it's like goldy but pink and it's almost that glitter that's like a pink yellow which is very nice just patting that on And then putting a little bit under as well. We'll do the same to the other eye. And I'm hardly tapping in, like I'm hardly getting any on my brush, but it's going such a long way, which is the sign of a really great and highly pigmented palette. Because you don't want to have to be digging around in the colors and, you know, forcing it on. You just want it to be easy. So that's coming together nicely. What I'm going to do now is actually tap into let them have, let them eat cake. And it's a light press glitter. And then I'm going to put that on the inner corner area. And that just adds another dimension to the look. And then I sort of go in the inner corner and then under a bit here. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get another flat brush. This one here is the Dew Color. It's just a flat brush. And I'm going to tap into, um, ooh, which one do we want? Maybe I can't tell if that's a pressed glitter. No, it's got glitter elements in it. Let's go into Owl Mode. And this is going to go under my brow here. So it's a shimmer shade, but it's got tiny flecks of glitter in it as well. So I feel very, like, ethereal, very fairy-like with this look because it's so glittery and fun. And it's really good to do a brow highlight because you get to carve out your brow a bit more and the shape of it and then you can just bring all the makeup look together that's so cute super super cute um so what i'm going to do now is actually put some mascara on so i've been using the maybelline lash sensational sky high and this is in their cosmic black and i really like the sky high mascaras they give you lots of length 
This is also a Trixie Cosmetics mirror. Don't know if I mentioned it before. Yeah, so lots of length. A little bit of volume, but more length. But they make your eyelashes look so beautiful and long. And then some people put mascara on the bottom. Some don't. I am one of the people who do. Because I feel like if you don't, it makes your bottom lashes look really naked. There's been some hacks on how to get this on, you know, using tweezers and that. But I don't really have a lot of trouble. I've been doing it long enough that I know how to do it pretty easily without it smudging. You can see now that mascara is on, these lashes look so beautiful. And the eyeshadow looks absolutely stunning. I'm excited to try some other colours as well. But this pink is really the vibe for the day. Matching everything I've got on. Unintentionally, I just saw a pink shirt and was like, yep, we're wearing that today. And then the look came together too. Oh, so these lashes on my eye are a bit twisty on this side, so it's very hard to separate them. I don't know how you fix that. Maybe I need a lash lift or something. You see how they like cross over on each other? If you know a way to fix that, please comment it below because it's very frustrating. All right, moving on to some of the other products now. So... The collaboration came with these two different highlight blush pal um not palettes blush compacts so one is called pink era one's called white it's called double diamonds so we're going to get them both out and then we're just going to see what we're feeling today but again packaging super cute i love that they have pictures of them both on it yeah trixie on her makeup company they've been doing a lot of collaboration so it's nice that they've done one that's on someone else's you know with her as the guest on there which is cool oh these are very difficult to open look at that it's a cute little heart i've had the highlighters from kimchi chic before but this heart has got glitter in it and then when you open it up oh, i'm so excited why can i not open anything today Oh, it's so cute. All right, we're using this on the cheeks for sure. So I've got this blush brush by Real Techniques. We're swirling in there. Oh, that's absolutely adorable. So it's got like a light and a medium together and I just swirled them both together and then obviously patting them on now. So that's so cute. Mm -hmm. We love a nice pigmented blush. Yeah, and there's a little mirror in there as well, so you can just do the blush. And then the other one is more highlights. We're going to use that as well. If I can get this open this time. This one's in a yellow compact and it's glittery again. Oh, look at that. It's called Double Diamonds, and I can really see why. This one's got the cover on the mirror. The other one didn't. Interesting. I was like, why can I not see myself? Look at that. And it blends so well into the blush as well. So I'm not going to go too overboard with highlighter like I've been doing lately. So we're just going to put some here. She says as she keeps dipping in. I love it. It's so sparkly, so fun. So there we go. And finally, we're going to do some lips. So quite a few different lip products came with this collaboration. There was lipsticks and also lip glosses. So there's, yeah, all of these lip glosses, oh, liquid lipsticks. So there's, those are the colours there. So there's like a red one, nude, a darker nude, and then this one's a really dark colour. And these are the lipsticks themselves. So what are we feeling? Let's do this one. This one's called Pink Sorbet. It's got Trixie on the front, but 
there's a lot of choice, which is great. But for this look, I think we just want a really nice pink color. And so what I like about these compacts is they've got this little picture of Trixie and Kimchi on them. And when you flip it open, it's got a mirror as well. So you can do your lipstick on the go. Um, these products are very cute, but also very practical. So I'm just taking the sticky off so I can see myself in it. And then it's got like a, almost like a gun. Then you push it out like that. Let's smell it. Oh yeah, it smells just like crayons kind of thing. Some of them have exciting scents, but this one's not bad. It's just normal. Yeah, so that's a nice and light color there. And then you just reload it like that. It's like spring loaded, which is cool. So that's the finished look. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Very happy with all of these products. I can't wait to use all the other colors and the other lip products and everything, but such a fun collaboration. It was came just so out of the blue, you know, there wasn't any build up to it. It was just suddenly this was happening, which was so exciting. And then yeah, the shipping came really quick. So, so glad to, to have been able to try it pretty early, but I love it and I'm so excited to use more of it. So. Like always, please make sure that you've liked this video and you've subscribed to my channel and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye!